Hi everyone, John Mitchell here, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So the first thing I wanted to talk about today was the, uh, the next set of proposed ARPA investments. You'll recall that ARPA stands for the American Rescue Plan Act, which was the stimulus act that Congress passed last year to help the country's emergence from the pandemic. The, uh, the city received some $82 million in ARPA funding that we are putting to a variety of uses according to an outline that um, so many folks uh, in, the, in the city contributed to. Um, the most recent uh, proposal is one that I think will bear some fruit ultimately, which is um, that we are uh, proposing that uh, we put ARPA funding into the rehabilitation of vacant properties. These could be open lots or they could be more particularly buildings that have been empty for a long time. Uh, we've been fortunate in the last 10 years, the vacancy rate in the city has dropped, but there still is, there still are a considerable number of vacant properties here and there. And, and this program isn't, isn't for every last open lot in every neighborhood in the city. Um, that would be hard to administer. These are more for larger properties. The, the floor uh, for this project will be for projects that are $750,000 or greater in total cost. So what we hope to do is use ARPA funds to uh, match private sector funds to get projects just over the hump. These are projects that are good ideas uh, that will generate benefits for the city and its residents, like good jobs and tax revenue, but just haven't had enough money to get there. And so what we're hoping to do is provide that money for projects that are worthwhile, the ones that submit applications that compete against um, yeah, make the case that they should be funded. It's going to be a competitive process. And uh, our hope is that this will enable uh, properties to, uh, you know, to get on the tax rolls to be, uh, again, generating jobs and otherwise generating benefits for our residents. So that's something that um, something to look forward to if you have a property that you want to invest in and, and it just needs a little more backing to get, uh, to get going. This may be a project for you. So I would go to the city's website to check out that application. The second thing I want to talk about today, just real briefly, is that, and you've seen a little bit of this in the paper, we're trying to get um, uh, our airport to emerge strongly from the pandemic as well. And in the last few years, we've committed to uh, really rebuilding our airport. Both runways have been rebuilt, the taxiways around, the, around it have been rebuilt, and now we're looking to rebuild the terminal as well as uh, to create possibly a separate entrance to the airport. And we hope uh, in so doing that we'll have an airport that is more active, that has ultimately more, uh, has more connecting flights to places where people fly, uh, commonly fly. And so we're actively talking to the state about getting those things off the ground. So uh, more to come on that, but there's, uh, even though sometimes the airport is out of sight, out of mind, there's a lot going on there. And the, the, the general idea is this, you know, we, our airport, sits in a catchment area geographically that is quite large and uh, it offers and we believe it, it can offer in the long run a lower cost alternative a more convenient alternative to logan airport up in boston as well as green airport in warwick um, because uh you know we just there is a big there is a big population around here that goes to those other airports uh, whereas they can probably come here and get a connecting flight to wherever they want to go. So that's the idea. Um, the last thing I just want to say is this weekend is Folk Festival and the Whaling City Festival, both of them alike. And, and uh, I hope uh, everybody has a chance to get out and enjoy those things. This is uh, it's the weekend after 4th of July it tends to be a big uh, and active uh, weekend during the summer, one of the more active in, uh, uh, in the year. And the weather's supposed to be good. So I hope that everybody gets a chance to go on out and enjoy what's being offered. We also have the Summer Sound Series, the concerts down on uh, downtown uh, that will be going on as well. So uh, hopefully we'll see you out there. I hope you have a chance to enjoy it with uh, with your family. This is all these all of these things are being promoted in part because uh, you know we've spent the last couple of years uh, off and on indoors more than we care to be, and. Uh, bringing people together for fun in the summertime is uh, a great antidote to, to having been uh, by ourselves and socially distanced for a long time. So I hope to see you all out there. And with that, this has been the Mayor's Weekly Update. We'll see you next week.